The video that so many of you have been waiting for, a tummy tuck surgery update. So by the time that you're watching this, I am a year and 10 months post operation and it's been a whirlwind of almost two years and it's been about a year since I have last been on YouTube and sharing my journey and all the things. you beautiful soul and welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who don't know me my name is evelyn Huynh, and i am a life and success coach certified clinical hypnotherapist there's a million things but most of you are on my channel because you have watched one of my older videos on my tummy tuck surgery or you followed me from my fitness and health days i'm going to be sharing my honest thoughts and feelings and my reflections on this entire journey now that it's been about a year and 10 months post operations i'm going to be sharing with you if i have any regrets and overall if i think that it was worth it so if you're interested in hearing my honest and fully transparent reflection and experience of my tummy tuck surgery post-operation while navigating through a pandemic then definitely keep watching because I'm not gonna be holding anything back I feel like there's so many videos on tummy tuck surgeries where people will document their initial surgery post-operation and then they kind of fall off the face of the earth you know a year or two later And that's usually the time when you can actually tell if the results stick or what they actually look like or how a person actually feels about their body afterwards. And so, you know, the reason why I even share this entire journey on here is to talk about cosmetic surgery, specifically the tummy tuck surgery in an open and honest way. I feel like so many people get it for the wrong reasons and, you know, they'll get the surgery, they'll look good. They might not take care of their body and then their body starts changing and they're still struggling with insecurities and self-worth issues. And I want my channel to be an open space where we can share all the thoughts and all the feedback. And I'm not here just to show you all the rainbow sunshines and ponies. I'm here to show you the great, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you've you know, watched any of my older videos, you'll know that I've shared all the things. And so I'm really excited about this video because it's a year and 10 months post operations. And there's a lot of thoughts and feelings that I have around my body and specifically my tummy tuck surgery. So the first question that I'm gonna be answering is, do I regret it? And the answer is no, I do not regret my tummy tuck surgery at all. It's probably the best investment that I have ever made. I paid a lot of money out of pocket and I had zero help with that. It all came from the money that I made in my coaching business and I would go back and do it all over again if, if, if I had to. And it was just such an amazing experience. I had such an amazing doctor, Dr. Roddy Ravon in Beverly Hills. The second question is, was it overall worth it? Yes, 110% yes. And what I haven't actually shared with you yet is that I have actually gained a lot, a lot of weight since my surgery. So I was probably around 140, I wanna say 140, 145 pounds post-surgery on August, in August, 2019. And when I came back to Canada last August, I was about 150, 155 pounds. And I spent the last 10 months here in Canada and you know, living at home. Also in my last video where I did a life update, you'll hear me talk about you know a, my struggle with substance abuse and coming back here in the winter time, struggling with substance abuse, mental health, and just kind of eating to numb away certain emotions and pains and unresolved childhood trauma and wounds. It's a mouthful. We'll, we'll dive into this in another video, but I gained a lot of weight really quick. And so in the last couple of months, I have probably gained close to like 23 pounds. So as of today, I am in the mid 170s, which is a pretty hard pill to swallow sometimes because I was literally what 148 pounds before I went into surgery. I got two and a half pounds of skin cut off and then I was around 145 pounds post-surgery. And you know, that is where my sweet spot is in terms of my body. And it, it is sad watching my body kind of what feels like going like this and gaining weight. But the thing about it is that I'm okay. Like I'm the heaviest that I have been in a really long time, but I'm also the happiest in this time period of me gaining the weight. And the thing is, is that I came back home to visit family. And then because we've been in like multiple lockdowns, we're actually still in lockdown right now. I've been eating my mom's home cooked meals, her 
authentic Chinese and Vietnamese meals. And I think the difficulty with that is that I don't really have control over what goes in there, the amount of oils that she puts in, the food, certain things. And so it's almost like when we make one decision, there's always a reaction or a consequence. So me choosing to not cook my own meals at home and then eating the meals that my mom's making is me also having to own up to the fact that I won't have 100% control over my body. Does that make sense? And I, that's why I'm okay with it. I feel like so many times like we're beating ourselves up because we make one decision and then because that decision warrants a reaction or a consequence, so let's say weight gain because I'm eating mom's meals and then now I'm gaining weight, then I'm like beat then you're beating yourself up for gaining weight. But it's like you can't beat yourself up if that is the decision that you choose. You got to feel confident and be intentional about the decisions that you're making. Like I have two I could either continue eating my mom's home cooked meals or I can say no and then cook my own meals where I have fully full control over the foods that I'm actually consuming. But I don't want to do that. So that's why I'm okay with gaining weight. It's going to be fine. And I think the important thing for me and what I want to share with you is that I am a personal trainer. Like I know a lot about the human body and training and nutrition and even i have days where i'm hella unmotivated unmotiv to work out in the basement because we're in lockdown and i can't go to an, an actual gym i think it's a tough time for all of us like when i started sharing about my weight gain on my instagram so many people reached out telling me that they were going through the exact same thing you know whether they gained 15 pounds or 10 pounds or 20 pounds and no one talks about it because we only talk about weight loss because weight gain has this shame attached to it and i'm just sick and tired of that like we're all trying to navigate and do the best that we can throughout this pandemic and when you're at home on in lockdown and you're not able to go to commercial gym and you have limited equipment there's only so much that you can really do i think that it's just important for us to have a little bit more compassion and love for ourselves it was so tough for me finding a shirt that I felt comfortable in getting on this video because I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my God, like my arms have just gone so big and I have like this hanging here and then like they're jiggling and it's like, I don't fucking care <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Like I care, but I also don't. And that's like the give and take is that sometimes we care but deep down we're actually like, I don't wanna care. But then you also are like, what are people gonna say? Like, are they gonna comment on like my arms? Take a step back and I'm like, <laughs> I really, if they're gonna be trolls and they're gonna be hating on someone's body online it says more about them than it does on me so here's me like fully transparent and so i'm gonna show you what my scar looks like in a quick second my scar has faded a lot you know what's really funny is that i had so many followers and people my subscribers on youtube who messaged me asking about you know my experience with my tummy tuck surgery and then they ended up getting their surgery and it's funny because I know a lot of people who got it la end of last year and I look at their videos now and their scars are completely gone and it took a really long time for my scar to fade and my doctor actually warned me he's like you know when it comes to Asian skin because of the pigment of your skin and the way that your skin is you will just bruise a lot easier and your scars will take longer to fade. And so I was kind of prepared for that. And it's okay because once I really fully healed from my surgery, which was probably around end of 2020 or beginning of 2020, literally two months later, we are in a pandemic and I haven't really been able to go anywhere or do anything. So losing weight and training your body is actually really easy. The, the strategy to get there is really simple. It's just about being in the right environment and having the right accountability and support and being in the best headspace to actually get there that's the tricky part so i'm actually going to be heading back to california in about i want to say like three and a half weeks and i'm really excited because i'm going to be in my own space again i'm going to be able to get a gym membership i'm going to have full control over my nutrition and i just know from personal experience from being in the fitness and health industry for the past five to six years i know that when i am committed and dedicated have a plan and have i'm in the right environment for my fitness and health goals, my weight just changes like that. My body changes drastically, almost overnight. So I'm so excited to bring you on that journey. This has been a really hard video for me to wanna do because it's one thing when you have 
you know, shown up online and shared, hey, here's me post tummy tuck. Look, look how tiny I am. And then now it's like, oh, you're kind of pudgy. <laughs> but it's okay, right? This I'm sharing this because I just want to be fully transparent and honest. This is actually a reality for a lot of people. A lot of women will get tummy tuck surgeries thinking that it's going to solve their worthiness or insecurity issues or problems. And they'll gain weight afterwards, whether it's a couple pounds or whether it's like 10 or 20 pounds and it's almost like they're still struggling with their worth but for me i knew i was worthy and that i was enough pre-surgery the surgery was just a, like the icing on the cake i got it as a celebration to celebrate my weight loss journey to celebrate my personal development journey it wasn't because i was trying to fill a void or i was trying to feel more perfect or i was trying to feel more worthy or enough because i was already enough before that and i think that's really important when we go into wanting to get any surgery is how you feel about yourself is so 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 important here is what my tummy tuck surgery or my stomach looks like now i'm still in love with you know this how low the scar is what the scar looks like i love my belly button we've just got a little bit more like pudge around it and that's okay so i have something called a hybrid belly button which it's my actual belly button but the skin around it is new because he cut off the skin that was around it and so this is what my scar looks like now as you can tell i'm a little bit bloated um you know it's about 7 pm now as you can see the scar is still there but it's not as dark as before as you can see it's like really started to fade on the sides here and then here and if you kind of compare my scar to a lot of other people who let's say aren't asian theirs have faded a lot quicker and this is also because i haven't been the best with massaging and using aquaphor and stuff but that's okay no one ever sees my scars even when i am wearing bikinis or low bottoms or shorts my scar is so low that you don't ever really see it. So tip for me, if you are gonna get a tummy tuck surgery or if you're post tummy tuck surgery, make sure that you're on top of massaging your scar and using Aquaphor to help with it. I didn't, but that's okay. I'm not like complaining. This is what your girl's tummy tuck surgery looks like post-operation about a year and 10 months. So I still love it. Like I love my midsection. So the last thing I wanna say is that if you are going to get a tummy tuck surgery, make sure that you feel whole and complete with yourself and not getting it just to fill a void. Make sure that you're in the best mental headspace and also be prepared to continue taking care of your body afterwards by training it, by fueling it with the nutritious foods that your body needs. Be prepared for possible weight gain. I, no two bodies are the same. You know, there might be person A who stays the exact same weight post-surgery and that's great for them and then there might be person B like me where you'll be getting it post pandemic and you struggle to you know struggle with mental health you struggle with substance abuse and you struggle with how being in the environment to take your fitness and health goals really seriously and you're gonna experience weight gain and you have to be okay with that. And so I wanted to share this video to share with you the honest, fully transparent thoughts and feelings that I have post tummy tuck surgery as someone who has experienced weight gain after it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you resonated with any of this, if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's anything specific that you would like to see on my channel, please leave me a comment below. Anything in regards to mental health, mindset, emotional health, physical health, spiritual health, all the things, just let me know. I'd love to hear from you and I can't wait to connect with you soon. So I love you and I hope that you have the most amazing day and don't forget to connect with me on all my socials. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and I'll see you next week. Bye.